What's up crafters, it's Ashley with SVG by AM and we are back with another Cricut tutorial. If you've considered creating those popular word search projects but the words inside of the word search just don't fit your vibe, well this is the video for you. In order to get the most out of this video, I highly encourage you to open up Cricut Design Space and follow along with me. By using the techniques in this video, you're going to be able to craft for just about any situation using your own fonts, your own special keywords, and it's going to make this project unique to you and really be something that you can be proud of. To give you an idea of what we're going to be creating, it's going to look something like this. You can cut these letters out in vinyl and apply it to a canvas, or you can apply it to wood. And honestly, if you want to go a little bit smaller, you can totally create something really cute for a tiered tray. Now, while you can go about this in a number of different ways, I'm going to show you the easiest way to go from point A to point Z. So using Word Search Labs, we're actually going to put all of our keywords in here. And this system is going to create a guide for us that we can then print off and reference for creating our own inside of Cricut Design Space. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use a bunch of crafting key terms and I'll see you in a minute. Now by default, Word Search Labs does their word placement pretty standard, left to right, up and down, and diagonal. If you want to kick it up a notch, you can actually make some serious adjustments. By selecting the bottom four options, you can make it to where your words will read backwards, kind of kicking up the challenge a little bit. Because we're doing this inside of Cricut, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the size to a 12 by 15. Now here's the fun part. Using the arrow keys underneath this preview image, you can kind of get an idea of what your end product is going to look like. Once you find the one that you want, go ahead and hit save. You're going to see a screen that looks like this. Now, because we're going to use this as a reference point, I'm going to go ahead and select this answers key so that I can see where everything is. Now here, you can either print this or you can move it to the side and go back to design space and kind of use it as a reference. So now that we have our reference sheet printed off, we're going to go ahead and start adding the text. In order to do that, slide on over to the left hand side and select text. So Cricut will automatically put in just the word text in their favorite font. We can change that. Select the word text and go up to font and you're going to see all of the font options. So I already know what I'm going to use. So I'm going to slide over to system, which is everything that's on my computer. And I'm going to type in the font that I'm looking for. But if you still want to browse, feel free. So now that our font's been changed, let's go ahead and paste in the keywords from our word search and we'll add in some new text. Now this is where your reference sheet is going to come in huge handy. So starting from the left hand side, go ahead and type everything from top to bottom in that first column. Once you're done with column one, go ahead and repeat the process. So now that the columns are done, we need to adjust the spacing. The spacing between the rows, perfect. The spacing between the columns, not so much, but it's an easy fix. Now, because I said I wanted to keep everything on one mat, we're going to go ahead and create a box. Because Cricut limits us in size, let's go ahead and create the box to show that. So slide on over to the left hand side, select shape and select the box shape. Click on the shape and go up to size and unlock it. This is going to allow us to move that box freely. I'm going to change the color of the box just so that it's easy to visualize. Right click and do send to back. Now getting a little bit closer, you can see that our lines kind of go over that initial 11 and a half. In order to fix this, we're going to select our lines and move them all with inside of the box. Be careful not to mix up the columns. So now that everything is inside the size that we need it to be, we can go ahead and get rid of this box. So we select all of our columns and we go up to a line. We're going to select a line top. This is going to force everything to the top. And then we're going to go to a line distribute horizontally. That's going to fix all of that spacing in between the columns. So I ended up making a mistake, but it's okay because it's a perfect opportunity to show you that we can still make adjustments even this far into the project. Now I said that I want to keep everything on a mat. And while I did kind of do that, the actual key terms that we're searching for don't fit on the mat. So let's get that adjusted. So selecting each column, what we're going to do is mess with this line space up here and we need to kick it down a few notches. <laughs> Just keep in mind, whatever you do for the first column, you are going to need to repeat that process for all the columns. So copy whatever you put here and paste it in as you go along. Oh, 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 oh,
So now that our column heights are adjusted, I'm still okay with the spacing in between each of the rows. I mean, technically speaking, we could move over just a little bit. So I'll go ahead and do that really quick. Selecting everything, go back up to a line, do a line top, and then distribute horizontally. And this is giving us exactly what we need. So now that our word search itself fits within the mat, we need to add our keywords. I'm gonna go ahead and select each word individually and attach all of those letters together so that we can readjust, resize, and align everything properly. Now I do see here that we ended up spelling a word on accident, so I'm gonna add that in real quick. So the last thing that you want to make sure before you move on to making the project is attaching all of your fonts together, especially if you're going to be doing certain colors. This is going to make sure that all of your colors are frozen together and nothing gets weird when you hit make it. As you can see, our text is exactly where we had it and nothing has moved. From here, you would go to continue, select your device, your vinyl settings, and start loading your mats. So I hope this video has encouraged you to try something new today and just keep in mind that everybody, even me as I record this video, makes a ton of mistakes, but it's okay because nothing is too far gone. And if you're looking to play around with some more new things, I think you should check out this video. We actually take some sublimation designs and I show you how you can create stickers inside of Cricut Design Space. Until next time crafters.